Hey there! Let's now take a look how we can add a checkbox to our product page. Maybe we have some specific kind of terms and conditions or we want to have a, yes, another um, specific offer which the end customer should tick. So what we now can do is we can again open up our Textify textbox app. I will do so. We can click create field. We can go to the product options. And now we have different kind of opportunities. So in my case, I will now first of all enter the field name. In my case, we can just call it checkbox one. It's just my personal identifier. And now what we can do is we can click on the checkbox. So now what you will see, this is already here the preview of how the checkbox can look like. I can now click here on the small edit pencil. I will do so. And now we have different kind of um, settings we can do here. So first of all, I'm um, here we can enter the heading please tick the the box I think that's fine we can move on we can see here this is a sample checkbox you can write whatever you want to write for example yes this is a sample checkbox you can also add more checkboxes by adding here some and whenever we will update it here so let's say no this is not a checkbox for example and we will click save we will see that it will also show here but in our case it's fine if we just have one checkbox here so I will just update it accordingly let us go back to the edit opportunity we can now decide if this should be required or not in my case it's fine if it's not required but maybe for terms and conditions it would be required then it will also show here a small star so that you can see this is a required field okay let's just say we will just keep it also required on this product otherwise we will decide on which product it should show my case product is called test product i will now enter it here test product in the search mask so this is a test product now I will click save. Now the field is getting generated. So it will show up here, checkbox one. And if you now go back to the product page and refresh it, we can see that we have now a checkbox here on that page. And um, yeah, now if someone wants to try adding to cart, they first of all have to click the, um, the checkbox, check the checkbox. So I can do so. Whenever I did this, I can now move on and have a check checkbox here. So that's how easy it is to add a checkbox to my product page.